Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. This would be a really weird first video. <laughs> so uh, as you can tell from the title, where's the beer? Uh, so if you don't know, I don't think I've really talked about this. Um, the shelves are built in and water was coming in when it rained. So we have, when we bought the house, only the back of the house had gutters. So we've since added gutters to the rest of the house. And I was really hoping that would fix the problem. Uh, we also put in a French drain and the next time it rained, even with the gutters in the French drain, it still got some water over in this corner off screen. So, you know, my wife and I knew we were gonna have to, well, I was gonna take down all that, take off all the beer. It's just, uh, I'm recording in my root cellar of my house. It's like a little separate room. Uh, from the rest of the basement. So all the beers just in the main part of the basement. Uh, I ripped all the shelves down two days ago um, at time of filming this. And then you can uh, see some darker spots uh, I patched. Um, that All that stuff was probably more cosmetic for when I put the dry lock seal on it. Um, but like there were like little divots, but water wasn't coming in there. I just figured, you know, I have, I, I bought this uh, quick reet Quickrete, like concrete, but quickrete. Um, they're like hydraulic, uh, uh, one that's specifically for water. Um, you can even like use it in water, which is pretty crazy. So right off camera here is where the water was coming in. It was hard to see for sure uh, with the shelving there, uh, even if the beer wasn't there, because it was kind of behind two, what I thought was actually two of the supports, but just one of the supports. So I ripped all that stuff out and um, the, the weirdest thing, I found the weirdest thing. So once I ripped out everything, there was a really like deep hole. Um, and maybe I'll edit this and add pictures into it. And um, so first, you know, cause I'm an idiot. I just like put my finger in the hole to see like, how deep is this? Can I put my whole finger in? And I could. So then I had a, a little brush to like, you know, uh, um, get rid of any loose stuff before I you know started adding the uh, quick read. And, uh, and then also before I put the dry lock which I'll do it again before I put the dry lock. But anyway, so I um, then put the, the uh, handle of that brush in, it goes all the way. And I'm like, well, I got this paint stirrer, maybe that's long enough. So that one, I finally did hit the, the dirt outside the wall. And um, I'm like, man, this is a deep hole. So I put as, I got it as far in as I could. Uh, and then, you know, all the way out with this quick read. So at this point, I gotta wait till it rains to see, you know, does it come in anywhere else? Cause that's what I'm a little nervous about. I didn't want to just immediately do the dry lock is now that water can't come in that way. Is it going to find another way? So, um, it's going to look like this behind me for a bit. I probably have at least one video coming out with the old setup. So don't be confused. I didn't like throw back up the old wood and put everything exactly where it was. Um, uh, it is, just backlog video or videos. Um, and yeah, so I don't have an exact timetable. I don't know when we'll get enough rain that I can really test this. And then when I'll get a chance to uh, uh, put the dry lock on. And I'm not gonna build in shelves. I actually already have uh, some shelves. Long story short, I bought a bunch of uh, plastic shelves that are in the main part of the basement. And I have three that are black and the rest that are beige. They're on different sides of the basement. Doesn't bother me at all but apparently it drives my wife nuts that they're different colors. So I'm gonna bring in those three black ones in here, use those, and then uh, buy three more of those, these like beige colored ones to put where the black ones were so that she'll be happy, I'll be happy. Um, it'd be much easier than building in shelves. Um, and also that way if this problem happens again, but somewhere else be much easier to, uh, to take everything out and fix it. So yeah, that's why uh, for, a, for a while, I don't, I, I have no end date. I don't know when this will be done. So um, yeah, that's why it's gonna look like this. I'm realizing, I don't know how much will come up across on camera. It sounds a little echoey with nothing back here. So maybe I'll have to try to put some stuff back here off camera just so it doesn't sound so echoey, but hopefully on camera and on this mic, it doesn't pick it up. But anyway, yeah, that's why, uh, that's where the beer is. It's about uh, 15 feet to my left. Um, 
all taken care of in boxes, uh, ready to be brought back in when the time comes and uh, get, you know, it'll look a little different than it did before, obviously, but a little bit closer to what it had looked like. Um, and yeah, so you'll see reviews where this is a backdrop uh, and it looks super creepy and it is what it is. Maybe I'll try to hang up some stuff temporarily. I don't know. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's why this looks the way it is and why it will look that way for a bit. And uh, hopefully people watch this and don't just keep asking me in the comments section of the other videos. So yeah, would have been a weird one to watch for the first time. Uh, if you do have any questions about this, I mean, I guess, feel free in the comment section below. Uh, once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.